So the common external tangent. So any tangent tangent of this form that runs from the circle here to this to the other circle is a common external tangent. But if it runs from D here to another point here, transversal is called common internal tangent. So let's now get a formula for that. So if we draw a line parallel to C D. So let's draw a line parallel to so if you draw a line So assuming this the radius of the small circle is R small letter R so that's what we have here So and again assuming the radius of the big circle is big letter R So we now see the remaining part of this is R minus R. So again, joining the centers of the circle. Notice that we form a right angle triangle. So if the, cent the length of the center is D. So using pi, remember this line is parallel to this. So if we call DCL, this is also L by observation this night. So applying Pythagorean theorem, we see that we see that L squared plus R minus R squared must be equal to D squared by Pythagorean theorem. By Pythagorean theorem. Remember, our main aim is to find L. So L, making L the subject of formula. So we now is square root of D squared minus R minus R all squared. So that's the formula. Each time you ask to find the length of this tangent, this, that's the common external tangent, just this. This is this distance between the centers. Y R are the red they are the red eye. So L is the common common tangent. So that's the formula. So this now is special case when the two circle touch. So there is a contact. You can easily see that the distance between the center is the sum of the radii. So since we we know since we've gotten that the, the tangent line C D is square root D square minus the difference, the square of the difference. Implied but you can easily see that the distance between the two centers is R plus R. So we have L equals square root R plus R all squared minus R minus R all squared. These are big R, big small R. So all using difference of two square we have is 4 R R. So which is square root of 4 is 2. So square root that. So this is now when the two circle touch. When there is a contact between the two circles. So look at a quick example to that. They say if PQ is tangent to the two circles and the radii of A and B are 25 and 9, respect then the length of PQ. So PQ, without wasting time using our formula, PQ, which is L, is just 2 times square root square root R R. So we have the radars are twenty five and nine. So the answer is square root of twenty five five square root of nine three. So the answer is that so you don't need to waste time. So given this question, two circles of centers A and B have a common tangent C D. If the diameters are ten and six, find C D if A F E B are collinear. 
collinear means they are on the same line so let's join the point so we've joined the point so we see that the, remember diameter is 10 so radius will be 5 so the bigger circle is 5 while the small circle is 3 so using our formula the length of common ta external tangent is d squared minus r minus r remember d is the common is the distance between the centers y r are the radii so substituting the value we now see that l is square root d is 5 plus 2 plus 3 which is 10 10 squared and 5 minus 3 5 minus 3 is 2 so 2 squared so we have square root difference of 2 square that is 10 plus 2 is 12 10 minus 2 is 8 and we know 12 is 4 times 3 so 4 times 3 and 8 is 4 times 2 so 4, four times 4 is 16 square so root of 16 is 4 y 3 times 2 is 6 so no perfect square root so our answer is option A